um, and it needs to be from nums of i to other elements and I have to, I have to perform the same operation for all the elements that's going to be a tough job for us because you will see the complexity is actually unified so I have to pre-compute something or maybe find a way out that I can actually do it in maybe O of n or O of n log n. I can't do it in O of n square for sure, which you are thinking right now. I know you are thinking. Now, um, in other words, result of i is equal to the summation of modulus of nums of i minus nums of j, where j can be any other element in the entire array. Every other element in the entire array. Let's see. With example itself, we will actually figure out what can be done for this problem. Now, firstly, as you will see that, firstly, I will take nums of i as 2. Now, I want what? I want 2 minus 2, 3 minus 2, 5 minus 2. That's what I want, right? Now, Rn, it's so simple, right? You see that you have a 2, 2, 2 here and you know that your array is of a size 3. You can for sure find the sum of the entire array, which means you can just club this 2 plus 3 plus 5 minus 2, which is the nums of i, into the times, which is the n itself. And for sure, you will get the answer. As you see that the sum is 10, the this thing is 6. Answer is 4. That is correct, Aryan. Oh, like we have we found it. So, what can we do is we can just club the nums, which means we can just have this nums, entire nums, sum. And I just know the count is n for this number. And I'll just subtract this as simple as that. Just do a, for every element. Can I do the same operation? Let's see. I don't think so. Why? For this, if you just plan to do the same thing, you can just write 2 minus 3, 3 minus 3, and 5 minus 3, right? Again, you can just write that as a 10 minus 3 into 3, which is actually a 1. Aryan, the answer is not 1, it's 3. You are wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. What was the issue? See, you did a 2 minus 3, which resulted in a minus 1. I told in the beginning itself, it's an absolute difference. The result will never be negative. Now, for, okay, the first thing which you guessed to have a sum was actually a big in part of the intuition. Now, just you have to handle the negative case. How can you handle the negative case? What, what made you do or what made you bring the positive case? What made you bring the positive case was this part that you were subtracting all the values smaller than what you had later on. Here, you are subtracting a higher value. Rather, Arin, what I should do is I should write it as a 3 minus 2 instead. It will give me a 1. That's a great option. With this, what you will get is you can just try to solve this part as one part and this remaining part as one part, which means you can have a left sum. Left sum will actually be of, let's say, L sum. I'll write the left sum in the code itself, no worries. And I can have a right sum. Now, Aryan, do I maintain the right sum at every point? No, you don't have to. Just find the total sum and just subtract the left sum. You will automatically get the right sum. So, I know what is the left sum. I know what is the right sum. I just want to find this value. Earlier, I just did a total sum, which is actually ultimately the right sum. You see the total sum minus left sum. Initially, left sum is actually zero. So for sure, this total sum minus left sum where left sum is actually zero is actually a right sum. So earlier, you were doing a right sum, right? Minus right sum minus the element itself, which is actually nums of i multiplied by its frequency which is actually these many elements are in how many these elements are there n always no not sure it can be this count this count if my if i have my i here you will see i have elements before it before it see left sum is before this left sum if i have i here itself where i is actually zero so left sum is for starting zero elements right sum is which actually total sum minus left sum it is actually for n minus i elements so i know in the left i have i elements and i know in the right i have n minus i elements so what i can simply go and do is i know that i can just maintain this entire thing as a right sum this as a left sum oh sorry i was actually at i equal to one you will see that i was at nums three so my left sum is this point which is two my i is saying one 
because I was I had one. It just says I have one element in the left itself because indexing as zero based, right? So I know I have one element in the left itself. That's great. So I can just simply do one thing. I can just say, bro, 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 bro. You know that this element is actually more. So do a nums of i multiplied by the frequency of this element which is right now one i know because i want to subtract the left part separately and right part separately so i can just simply say that bro nums of i is occurring one time which is the index time minus i'll subtract the left sum that is for the left part again for the right part i'll do a right sum minus nums of i because you know that here the, num here the nums of i is more and left sum is less in the right part right sum will be more and nums of i will be less. So I'll do a right sum minus nums of i, nums of i multiplied by what? Which is what's the count? What's the remaining count? It's n minus i. It's actually n minus i. So that is how you can get this left sum and this right sum. And ultimately, you you would not have to worry about uh, if something gets negative or not because this will handle that because you are always subtracting larger value with a smaller value larger value with a smaller value it's just that you bifurcated that out to a left sum and right sum so that it's always you are subtracting a larger uh, like smaller value from a larger value and that's how you can simply get this solved let's go quickly, let's go again 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 one way for this can be that you might have made a prefix sum as I told you in the beginning, you must have tried by yourself and you might have made a prefix sum array. Rather, I showed you, you don't need a new prefix sum array, right? You might have got a prefix sum and a suffix sum array. You might have got that. So that would be O of n space operation. But you see that here in this code, again, in the interview, you should actually go by making a prefix sum, prefix sum and a suffix sum array. The suffix sum array, which will actually take a O of n extra space and then you can just go and say sir uh, or interviewer i don't need this extra space i can just use the variables left sum and right sum as told by r in itself and that will actually work in time of o of n and space of o of one because you you just use two variables although for answer you will make an o of n space but that is an that is not an, that is not an extra space it's a required space that will for sure be used so extra space used to run the program is actually o of one times o of n because you are just going to every element exactly once because as you go with this left sum and right sum you are finding it's absolute difference with the other elements cool let's quickly code this up uh, and for sure we would not be required to sort this entire thing now as i told you i firstly need the total sum so i just firstly get that total sum itself now just for simplicity let's have your n in nums also so i'll just have a nums dot size now i can just simply iterate on my entire array for auto elements in my nums and i can just add this total sum in my answer now i have for sure got the total sum let's also get the answer which we have to make so because you know that you have to turn a vector so this is what i've got now i also need a left sum so just let's also plot a left sum here initially for sure it will also be a zero now i have to go to every element here i have to put the indexes because i need to know the count of left element and right element now um value at the left side uh val left which means the value at the left side is actually what which is the let's see i'm just counting the left part and right part left part value will be nothing but nums of i into the count of element which actually i minus the left sum part this is for me which is on the left value and the same goes for val right that i will have a right value type which means i'll just say uh, right sum again uh, right sum will be actually nothing but total sum uh, as i have found the total sum minus the left sum that will be a right sum now i need to subtract this with what with i need to subtract this with nums of i nums of i but multiplied with the frequency of the right elements which actually n minus i now with this being done uh, i also have to add my left sum value because i'm moving forward and for the later point i need to have a left sum in my answer now i can just push back uh, this value in my answer which is val val left 
plus val right which is just saying okay i just computed the left left and right values separately and got the answer now let's quickly return the value which is return the uh, answer itself and that would be done cool let's quickly compile and check i should work that would be o of n time and o of one space cool thanks for watching bye bye